Thank you for stopping by our channel, Dark Destinations. Our mission is to take you on shadowed adventures featuring dark entities and spooky tales of the past and present. Today, we will be visiting five haunted locations. Without further delay, let's jump into today's paranormal odyssey and see what we find looming in this dark destination. Can you imagine a place where the walls whisper tales of torture, execution, and royal dramas? Imagine, if you will, a historic castle perched on the north bank of the River Thames in central London. Founded as part of the Norman Conquest in 1066, the Tower of London, officially known as His Majesty's Royal Palace and Fortress of the Tower of London, is steeped in a rich and colorful past where every stone and corner has a story to tell. The White Tower, built by William the Conqueror in 1078, is a fortress of tales, both grand and gruesome. Over the centuries, this colossal castle has served as a royal residence, a prison, an armory, a treasury, and the home of the crown jewels of England. Yet, despite its majestic history, it's the tower's reputation for torture and death that truly sends shivers down the spine. One such tale is that of Anne Boleyn, the ill-fated second wife of King Henry VIII, accused of high treason, she was beheaded in 1536, and her ghost is said to haunt the tower seen carrying her head under her arm. Eyewitnesses have reported chilling sightings of her spectral presence, a ghastly reminder of the tower's bloody past. Local historians, too, tell tales of the tower's haunted history. They speak of the eerie echoes that linger in its chambers and corridors whispers of the past that refuse to die. The tower, they say, has a way of holding on to its history, of keeping its past inhabitants ever present. As we delve deeper into the tower's past, we uncover a tapestry of tales filled with intrigue, power, and bloodshed. Each story, each haunting, is a piece of the puzzle, a glimpse into the tower's dark and disturbing past. From royal dramas to tales of torture and execution, the Tower of London is a place where history and horror intertwine, a place where the past is never truly past, and the echoes of yesteryears continue to haunt the present. It seems the Tower of London has never truly been emptied of its past inhabitants. A near silence engulfs a forest where the trees are said to be keepers of a thousand sad stories. Can you feel their gaze upon you? Welcome to Aokigahara Forest, a dense, sprawling woodland at the base of Mount Fuji in Japan. Its beauty is deceptive, hiding a chilling reputation. Known also as the Suicide Forest, it's a place where heartbroken souls are said to have ended their lives. The forest is a paradox of life and death. Its lush green foliage is a stark contrast to the unnerving quiet that hangs in the air. With a dense vegetation muffling sound, it's easy to feel isolated, even when you're not alone. And perhaps that's part of its eerie allure. But it's not just the silence that unsettles visitors. Many who have dared to tread its paths report feelings of being watched. Some even claim to have seen apparitions, ghostly figures lurking among the trees. Could these be the restless spirits of those who ended their lives here? Let's hear from some local experts. A local historian tells us Aokigahara has a long history associated with death. It's said to date back to the ancient practice of Ubasute, where the elderly were left in remote areas to die during times of famine. A seasoned hiker shares, I've been in many forests, but there's something about Aokigahara. The air feels heavy. It's as if the trees themselves hold the sadness of the lost souls. 
Even the local authorities who regularly patrol the area have tales to share. A forest ranger confesses. Sometimes when the wind rustles the leaves, it sounds like whispers. It's definitely a place that leaves you feeling unsettled. In the heart of Aokigahara forest, the line between legend and reality seems to blur. The trees stand as silent witnesses to the many lives lost, their secrets forever shrouded in mystery. Whether it's the forest's tragic history or the eerie experiences of those who've dared to explore it, one thing is clear. In the depths of Aokigahara forest, it seems the living are never alone. What if the very ground beneath your feet was a resting place for over six million souls? Welcome, my friends, to the catacombs of Paris, a city known for its romance, its culture, its cuisine, and its dead. Beneath the bustling city streets, a labyrinth of tunnels and chambers stretching to the dark, a subterranean ossuary holding the remains of millions. The catacombs were born out of necessity in the late 18th century when Parisian cemeteries were literally overflowing. To solve this morbid dilemma, the authorities decided to transfer the remains underground. And thus, this eerie city of the dead came into existence. Visitors to the catacombs often speak of an oppressive feeling, as if the very air itself is heavy with the weight of centuries and countless lives. Some claim to see strange mists that seem to form out of nowhere, while others report hearing voices whispering in the dark, perhaps the echoes of those who once walked the streets of Paris above. Tourists who have ventured into this underworld often recount their experiences. One visitor said, the moment you step into the catacombs, you can feel the silence, the stillness. It's like the world above doesn't exist. Another stated, I swear I heard faint whispers, like a conversation in the distance. It was unsettling. Historians too have their say. The catacombs of Paris are a stark reminder of the city's past, one historian comments. It's a chilling contrast to the lively and vibrant city above. The catacombs are a place of paradox, both fascinating and fearsome, a monument to mortality tucked away beneath the city of love. It is a place where the whispers of history are heard, where the past and the present converge in the quiet darkness. In the catacombs of Paris, the whispers of the departed echo in the dark. Can you hear the silent screams of a once thriving fort now cursed and abandoned? Welcome to Bhangara Fort, India, a place often labeled as one of the most haunted locations in the country. This grand fort, now in ruins, is shrouded in legend and mystery, particularly concerning a curse that has left its mark on the fort and its surroundings. Let's delve into the heart of this chilling tale. Legend has it that a powerful sorcerer fell in love with a beautiful princess who lived within the fort. When his attempts to win her over using magic failed, he cursed the fort in rage. His curse was so potent that it prohibited the fort from being rebuilt once it fell into ruins. And so it remains to this day a grand structure reduced to rubble, the curse echoing through its hollow corridors. But the curse is not the only eerie aspect of Bangar Fort. Locals and visitors alike whisper tales of apparitions and spectral figures that roam the ruins. They speak of shadowy forms that flit through the fort after sunset of disembodied voices whispering in the wind, of an unsettling feeling of being watched. These tales, passed down from generation to generation, have given Bangor Fort a reputation 
that sends shivers down the spine. Historians too have their say. While they can't confirm the existence of the supernatural, they acknowledge the unusual history of the fort. The rapid decline of a once prosperous fort, they say, is unsettling. The lack of historical records explaining this downfall only adds to the mystery, making Pangar Fort a fascinating enigma for both the curious and the courageous. Bangor Fort stands in ruins, a testament to its spectral inhabitants. The crumbling walls, the silent courtyards, the eerie atmosphere, they all serve as a chilling reminder of the fort's haunted past. Whether the tales of curses and spirits are true or merely folklore, one thing is certain. Pangar Fort is a place where the echoes of the past still linger, where the line between the living and the dead seems to blur, and where every stone seems to have a ghostly tale to tell. What if a warm inn, a place of rest, was home to restless spirits from across the centuries? Picture an ancient building nestled in the heart of England, a structure that has stood since 1145 this is the ancient Ram Inn, a place where weary travelers once sought shelter and where over 20 different spirits are said to still reside. The ancient Ram Inn has a rich history, steeped in stories and legends, each more spine chilling than the last, from the whispered tales of spectral children playing in the halls to the haunting presence of a pagan high priestess, each ghostly inhabitant adds a new layer to the inn's eerie reputation. Some even speak of menacing demonic entities lurking in the shadows. Eyewitnesses have recounted chilling encounters of cold spots and disembodied voices of feelings of dread that cling to them long after they've left. Ayan Visitor spoke of a child's laughter echoing through the empty rooms while another described a sudden chill as though a spectral hand had brushed against their skin. Even experts have weighed in on these accounts. Local historians confirm the inn's past of tragedy and strife that may have left a residual haunting. Paranormal investigators have recorded inexplicable phenomena from sudden temperature drops to electromagnetic fluctuations all signs pointing to an active spiritual presence. Yet, despite its haunting reputation, the ancient Ram Inn stands as a testament to the past. A silent witness to centuries of history, its ghostly inhabitants reminders of times long gone. If its walls could talk, they'd tell a thousand tales of joy and sorrow, of life and death, and of the spectral guests who've chosen to stay. So, if you ever find yourself in the quaint English countryside, consider paying a visit to the ancient Ram Inn. But remember, you won't be the only guest, for in this ancient building, every creak of the floorboards, every whisper of the wind could be a spectral resident making their presence known. At the ancient Ram Inn, it seems every room is occupied. Thank you for joining us on this eerie journey into the shadows. We bid you farewell from the depths of darkness. If you found yourself entangled in the web of horror we've woven, don't escape just yet. Subscribe and brace yourself for more spine tingling tales. Remember, fear has a way of finding you, even in the quietest corners. We encourage you to email your footage and let's keep the fear alive. Until the next haunting encounter, beware of what lurks in the darkness. Stay terrified and may your haunted encounters be our next story. Until next time, sleep with one eye open and may your dreams be as unsettling as the stories we share. Stay haunted, my friends.